Hello book lovers, my name is Alan and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to do something different. I am going to test four book hacks that I found on the web and see if they truly work, if they're practical. So let's do this. The first book hack that I will test today is listening to audiobooks at double speed. I would love to listen to more audiobooks in less time and become a book reading ninja. Hiya! <laughs> I will try this experiment with two audiobooks and see if there is any difference. The first audiobook that I will listen to is the book by Keith Houston. So let's do this. Matter head. Your cat. This is a book about books. Until recently, this would have been an unambiguous statement. Whether it was a flimsy paperback or a ponderous coffee table tome, a book was a book and the word came without caveats. We bought books at bookshops and garage sales. We borrowed them temporarily from libraries and permanently from our friends, and sometimes the other way around. We held them reverently, gingerly, or forced them open until their spines cracked. We filed them neatly on bookshelves or piled them haphazardly at our bedsides. To borrow the words of Supreme Court Justice Potter Stewart, we know a book when we see it. Okay, that's enough for this one. The second book that I will listen to is The Science of Rapid Skill Acquisition by Peter Hollins. So let's see if there is any difference with this one. Chapter 1. Learn with rapid skill acquisition. Like many children, I was forced to play an instrument in my youth. My parents gave me the choice between piano, saxophone, and violin. However, there was already a piano in our household, despite the fact that no one else in my family played. It seemed that they had a strong preference and weren't really presenting me with a real choice. I took the hint and signed up for piano lessons starting the next week. I never really excelled at piano, despite playing for seven years overall. Some kids didn't get to Carnegie Hall in that time span, and wasn't Mozart composing concertos when he was only four or five years old? I was playing relatively simple songs for the vast majority of those seven years. It wasn't necessarily a waste of money, but I was no standout. I was average. Was okay, at the moment, I can consider this book hack very useful, because I cannot listen to the audiobooks properly. Maybe I need some practice. They say that you need around eight to ten hours to be comfortable with listening to audiobooks at this speed. This book hack is not practical for me, but it might be practical for others, so you can try it yourself. I found an article on BuzzFeed where a guy makes a book stand out of a wire hanger. So let's see if I can replicate this. I have my hanger here. Let's do this. The first step is to bend the two sides of your hanger at the middle. The second step requires to use a pair of pliers to squeeze both ends. This is what I, I achieved. The third step is fold the two sides up to form a book stand. This is what I got. The fourth step is fold the top of the hanger up. The fifth step is to fold the top of the hanger to face its side, like this. So, that's a pretty easy thing. And the last step is to fold the bottom wire up to link it into the top of the hanger. And this is the final product. So let's see if it works. Have my book here. Ooh. 
That's pretty clever. The book stand can be used for other things as well. You can put your tablet and you can watch a video or a movie. So this book hack is very useful. The third book hack that I'm going to try today is to read in the dark. So from what I understood, I need to become a pirate. Ahoy! Captain Booksmell, a gentleman of fortune, and I will try to read in the dark. Dar's me book, close the curtains. Is this book hack practical? I would say no. If you want to read in the dark, it's better to get a small book light. <sighs> the last book hack that I'm going to try today is to remove a price tag with a blow dryer. So let's see if this works. I have my book here and I have my blow dryer and see if this is useful or not. Maybe a few more seconds. And now let's see if it works. Whoa! It actually worked. This is actually a really cool book hack. I believe I can use it for other things that have annoying stickers. So definitely this is a book hack you should try. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to hit that like button, add a comment and subscribe to my channel to see new videos every week.